श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम देर आर टू अप्रोचेस विच आर told in our scriptures what we call as spiritual life one approach is wherein we give importance to the relative existence relative existence means where the experiencer and the experienced these two factors are important and the world is given more importance so the life is only try to fulfill one's desires and continue in that cycle of punarapi jananam punarapi maranam punarapi janani jathare shayanam this is one part of the topic in our scriptures the second part is as to who is going through good and bad experiences is it the camera looking at me or i am looking at it so when my attention is in the object you world my approach will be different but when my attention is on me who is this who is going through experiences this is the second part so in the six questions of this prashna upanishad first three questions are pertaining to the relative world and we are in the third uh, question which is ask wherein the student asked the question that prana the jiva the soul how does he enter this body that means he has taken this world as real and from somewhere the god comes or the jiva comes and enters the body and thereafter maharaj ji vira ji and thereafter he enters and then their life begins so what are those factors kindly tell yesterday we have seen this thing then the teacher says yes now you are real a seeker of truth normally what are the questions that we come across swami ji i am not getting a job please help me you will see maximum crowds you find where desires are fulfilled desire fulfillment is the only understanding of spirituality by majority of us so here is a student he is not asking about this thing that my wife doesn't listen to me my children are like that i am not getting a job enough of it enough See? i remember there used to be uh, initial stages when i was a newly born baba ji now i am gone case so we were waiting for somebody and tried to say you know pancha mahabhutas pancha dhanendra wow 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 and then go to the various places wherein your desires are fulfilled get ashirwad guru maharaj ki jai guru maharaj ki jai see so when you go through all these things i came to this conclusion the wisdom is 
never discuss, give advice, talk to anybody on any topic. It's useless. This I learned from you. You are all my gurus. I told you hundred times. One lady asked me in Vrindavan this some question. Swamiji, what is this? I said, Amma, uh, how many Mahatmas you have asked this question? How do you know? I said, forget about it. No, every Mahatma I asked this question. That day I realized they are taking us for a ride. Therefore, I invoke my Guru. And the Guru Maharaj gave me this Maha Mantra. I don't know. You may ask. It is not ob obligation that I have to answer your question. I don't know. That's it. And here is the student who is not talking about the world. Then he says, how this Jiva, the Prana, how he is born, where from he comes. See? Now before we go, I'll give one example. And then it will become easier. Where from the light in the bulb comes. Second example. Where from the horsepower in the car comes? There is neither the horse nor the power. But the vehicle is moved, not by petrol, not by the engine. But when the unholy wedding between the petrol and the engine happens, then something is born that is called as horsepower. Try to see the horsepower, where it is. How it is? Exactly the same way. Paramatma, petrol. Our body, engine. Expression, donkey power. <laughs> and when you switch on horsepower, H1, switch off. Again switch on, again horsepower, H2. You do it n number of times. Now the question is, H1 is equal to H2, is equal to H3, is equal to what? See friends, this is simplest. And therefore, when a bulb becomes fuse, what will happen to the light? Vichara mar gaya. What will happen to the light? Oh, you don't know. That light will go from here and enter another bulb. When the body, the bulb becomes fused, then the jiva, the soul, with the soul curry in his hand, he will go in another body and enter. Limit to bluffs. See, friends, whole life is lived only with this. Papoham papa karmam. Therefore, here the student asks, where from the jiva jiva we talk about, uh, where from he comes. So in reply to this, now the teacher says, Atmanaha esha pranaha jayate. The electricity is expressing as light. Where? Only in bulb. But if the electricity can give light in the bulb, if I put that electricity in my head, there will be lightning. You require a particular instrument, not everywhere. Exactly the same way, Paramatma expressing through certain equipments expresses only as existence, where life is not manifested. So because of this, that there are two expressions. One expression is E, are the insentient, inert expressions, Jada Jagat. And second is the sentient, the Chetan Jagat. And the substratum of this Jada Chetana is one reality, which is beyond Jada and beyond Chetana. Sunlight, 
daylight. Lot of difference. What we see is not the sunlight. It's a daylight. Sunlight is dark. When we see in the sky up there, where is the light? We don't see. What we see is only the reflected light. Therefore, if we have to define what is sunlight, sunlight is a dark light. Because in that sun light, there is neither light nor darkness. But when we take the reflected light, when we take the reflected consciousness, then Jada Chetan. And therefore, the sunlight is beyond darkness and light in the same manner. Paramatma is beyond Jada Chetana. See, my friends, but we get lost in all the non-essentials in life. Therefore, now the teacher continues the story. Atmanaha esha pranaha jayate. This prana, jiva, is born out of the uh, atma, the self. Yatha esha purushe chaya etasmin etan atatam manokrutena ayati asmin sharire. See? Like our shadow. Like you know, you can see our shadow falling somewhere. Now, where from the shadow has come? The shadow is not in the light. The shadow is in me. So, out of me only the shadow has come out. How simple it is to understand properly. Therefore, yatha purushe chaya etasmin atatam is all pervading. Meaning, what? This is the potentiality. Yesterday I gave you one example, experiment, take a matchstick and if you are burning, you will not get the shadow of the flame, which has already a light, but no shadow of the light. And if you take the stick, it is dark, but it has got a shadow. How funny it is. Therefore, this Paramatma expressing through the body becomes manifested as Chetana. So Chetana is not Paramatma. Chetana is the expression of Paramatma or the Brahman or Bhagavan. Vedanta calls it as Brahman, Yoga calls it as Paramatma and Bhakti calls it as Bhagavan. Word and the same thing. Don't get into Jagada. See? So when Chetana is expression, Chetana further starts manifesting. Ramification. So the first expression of Chetana is Paravani. I am telling from human mind point of view. Paravani, then Pashanti, then Madhyama, and then Vaikari. Vaikari Vani, Parashruti Gochara. Others can hear. I am talking to you by Vaikari Vani. When we talk to ourselves, Madhyama Vani. That experience where object and the name of the object are separate from each other is the Vaikarivani, where both the object and the name of the object are only thoughts. That is Madhyamavani, Hayali Pulao. And Pashantivani, where the object and the thought of the object, they are not yet differentiated, yet it is ready to differentiate. And Paravani is Chetana, where the expression of mind as a speech is ready, but not yet begun. Therefore, in Japa Sadhana, this is the technique told. Start from your Vaikari Vani, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya. When our Vaikari Vani becomes Pavitra, purified and mature, that Japa enters the Madhyama Vani. When that is mature and purified, the japa enters the Pashanti Vani. Up to here is our efforts. Beyond that, Kanaya Lal takes place. It is not our field. See friends. So, the Chetana expresses as mind. Then mind expresses as the five Dhanendriyas, five Karmendriyas. And the five Dhanendriyas express as five objects. Shabda Sparsha Rupa Rasagandha. This is how the 
मनो कृते न आयाति अस्मिन शरीरे एंड आफ्टर दैट इज डन देन व्हाट दिस चेतना डज यथा सम्राट एव अधिकृतान विनियुंते एतान ग्रामान एतान ग्रामाम अधितिष्ठस्व एतम एव एष प्राण इतरान प्राणान पृथक पृथक एवं सन्निधत्ते देन लाइक ए सम्राट ए किंग appoints the people to look after the various department in the same manner all the various departments are classified and given by the jiva and he is the mukya prana now what is that division now here are the pancha pranas are explained very beautifully payu pasthe apanam you all know the prana vyana apana udara samana five of them so where is our different pranas in our life in our body पायु उपस्थे पानम अपानम सो पायु उपस्थे इन अवर लोअर ओपनिंग्स इ द अपान वायु एंड देन चक्षुश्रोत्रे मुखनाशिकाभ्याम प्राण स्वयं प्रतिष्ठते एंड देन इन अवर आईज मीन ऑल अवर सेंस ऑर्गन्स एट्सेट्रा इति द प्राण हिमसेल्फ इज लिविंग मध्ये तो सामन एंड इन द सेंटर इ द सामन वायु सामन प्राण एष एक हुतम अन्नम समम नयति तस्मा देता सप्ताह दिशो भवती वे द फूड इज टेकन अवे देन द फूड इज डाइजेस्टेड बाय दिस समान डाइजेस्ट पावर एंड देन ऑल अवर फैकल्टीज बिकम एनलिवंड दिस इज हाउ दिस थ्री प्राणाज आर टोल्ड देयर आफ्टर हृदय एष आत्मा अत्र ए अत्र एक शतम नाडी नाम तासाम शतम शतकम एक सप्तर्सप्तती ही प्रतिशाखा नाडी सहस्राणी भवंत्याशु व्यान चरती देन देर आर थर्टी सेवेंटी टू थाउजेंड नाडीज हियर वी हेव टू बी वेरी क्लियर नाडी मेनी अ टाइम्स इज एक्सप्लेन एज दी कैपिलरीज द ब्लड वेसल्स नो नाडीज आर नॉट structural uh, entities like mind is not structural the our eyes have got two aspects structural eye and functional eye in the same manner antakaran chatushta is not structural only functional the when the thoughts are in a state of confusion and chaos that state of thought is called as mind when the state of the thought is conviction and decision right or wrong is not the criteria the decisive state of the uh, thoughts is called as intellect and when the state of the thought is in the form of memory it is called as chitta and when the state of thought is ownership of the earlier three it is called as ahankar the so vedanta they talk about antakaran chatushte but actually it should be antakaran panchakam where are the thoughts you know i have told you i wash my clothes and do the ironing that is my meditation in that cloth when the wrinkles are spread everywhere the beauty of the cloth is hidden so you take the iron and move all wrinkles gone the beauty of the cloth surfaces now the question is those wrinkles which you are covering the beauty of the cloth where they have gone can the wrinkles be there without the cloth in the same manner can the thoughts be there therefore antakaran is like the cloth and on that cloth antakaran there are four types of thoughts therefore like um, pancha dhyanendriyas pancha karmendriyas pancha prana exactly the same way it is antakaran panchakam dekho maharaj otherwise will be only struggling 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 my thoughts are who cares they let there be thoughts are no thoughts nothing happens to the cloth when there are wrinkles or no wrinkles because we have given importance to the wrinkles we get disturbed exactly the same way don't give importance to any thought 
good thoughts never mind bad will come don't worry bad thoughts never mind good will come don't worry is it not bhagavad gita second chapter bhagwan says matras parashastu kaunteya shitoshna sukha dukkhada agama apayina anityan tantitik shasva bharata meaning what let the joy or sorrows come don't worry they are temporary for temporary things why to become permanently miserable how oh, wonderful it is but we we are told in yoga yoga ha chittavrutti nirodha it has never happened to anybody and why we should be afraid of that then there be thoughts who cares see like the speaker speaks who cares same way as we listen to vedanta listen to the world you have learned vedanta what is our listening to vedanta so many mahatmas have come and gone challenge try <laughs> friends therefore here this atra ek shatam nadi naam tasam hesha atma and then what happens in the heart these 30 uh, 72000 nadis so they are not structural they are functional so be attentive which are those functional there are three of them see ichha shakti kriya shakti and jnana shakti when there is ichha shakti so kamayat bahusyam praja yeyeti tamasya vashe idam sarvam everything is under control of this ichha shakti but we are the victims of our desires parmatma is free from that so these three potentialities ichha shakti jnana shakti kriya shakti so these two the jnana and kriya shakti they are called as ida pingala be very attentive i am not telling you from book when knowledge and action they do not support each other in our life knowledge is early to bed and early to rise action is late to bed and late to rise result is no self confidence i don't think i can get up early morning here yeah. and what is there is it that bhagwan is available only in the morning afternoon is on leave or what am ah, on again we go to sleep and then we get up late today also i could not get up i don't think i can do anything i am good for nothing why because knowledge is not respected in our own life the friends is so important shakha yor dwai shakti mulaka these are the two shakhas kriya shakti dhyana shakti and shakti mulaka the only one potentiality so when from one point you draw two lines they cannot be parallel they will have an angle and as you go away from the source of that line the distance between these two lines will start increasing widening and slowly right from childhood we have never taken care of this thing how many times we have heard this thing they ko suno mat bolo but do end to that ko 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 you just can't keep quiet knowledge is there to tell others see and as a result slowly slowly this gap becomes extremely wide no self confidence friends atma vishwas is paramatma krupa see atma and paramatma is one when we bless us then only the divine will bless us see that is sadguru external guru and sadguru sadguru is only one and that is our ability to learn if we don't learn nobody can teach us so these two shaktis 
ज्ञान शक्ति क्रिया शक्ति वेन दे आर दस प्रॉपरली टेकन केयर ऑफ स्लोली स्लोली नॉलेज एंड एक्शन दे आर नॉट कॉन्ट्ररी टू ईच अदर नॉलेज इज रिप्रेजेंटेड इन एक्शन एंड एक्शन आर द रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ द नॉलेज द नेट रिजल्ट इज द गैप बिटवीन द टू स्टार्ट नैरोइंग एंड अल्टीमेटली नॉलेज एंड एक्शन मर्ज इन अ होमोजीनियस बींग दैट इज कॉल्ड एज द कुंडलिनी शक्ति अल्टीमेट सुषुम्ना नाड़ी सुषुम्ना नाड़ी इज नॉट ए स्ट्रक्चरल वन माइंड इज नॉट ए स्ट्रक्चर सी फ्रेंड्स हाउ सिंपल इट इज बट वी गेट लॉस्ट इन ऑल काइंड ऑफ थिंग सो इतने सहस्त्राणी भवन तासु व्यान चरती एंड इन दीज द व्यान वायु फंक्शन अथ एक ऊर्ध उदा पुण्य न पुण्यम लोकम नयति पापेन पापम उभाभ्या मनुष्य लोकम एंड देन दिस उदान वायु बाय दिस चैनल्स द इडा पिंगला एक्सेट्रा इट गोज इट टेक्स द जीवा to the higher world or lower world depending upon what type of life we have led therefore udanaha punnena punnyam lokam nayati if you do good work you go to the heaven and bad work you go to the hell and if you are having a balance you come to the human being after this is over then aditya hoi bahya prana up to here it was all pertaining to our individual so pancha pranas how they keep the life going in the body now outside also the same pancha pranas see how deep the thought is see aditya hovai bahya prana udayeti esha hena chakshusham pranam anugrinnana so like inside the prana is in the eyes and uh, uh, ears etc in the same manner external prana is the lord sun aditya hovai prana and udayeti esha and when the sunrise happens then only eyes are able to see be attentive therefore if you remember yesterday i told you every mantra has got its three aspect the sun hanging in the sky as a ball is adi bhautik sun that because the wish kunti mata was blessed with karana is the adi daivik sun and that because the wish we have our functional vision is adhyatmik sun therefore external and internal they are not separate they are one and the same external air internal air see if you can imagine like if you take suppose this is a magnet and this magnet will have a magnetic field up to particular uh, length depending upon the strength of the magnet and then that field will be all around the magnet so any steel part or a nail when it will come within the area of this magnetic field it will be pulled if this is clear in the same manner be very attentive when consciousness is expressing through the body as chetana and that chetana is now like creating a magnetic field around the body be very attentive so there is a contour line if you can imagine all around the body and air when it is within the contour line of our body and it enters through the nose in our body the same air is now converted into pancha pranas see therefore external prana and internal prana they exist together therefore the body is in the prana prana is not in the body see external object included in the mind where the knowledge happens inside so the mind is the same therefore the body and the prana they are in the mind 
your expansion will have no limit and then we come to discover that nothing has happened nothing is going to happen like nothing happens to the space everything happens in the space but nothing happens to the space every color and form is seen by the vision but vision has no color no form every thought good and bad comes in the mind but nothing happens to the mind mind is neither good and bad every experience waking dream deep sleep samadhi comes and goes in this chidakash the conscious space nothing happens to that to bring to our cognition this experience this upanishad is telling that don't separate external internal external internal with importance because we are too much preoccupied with our body 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 and when we drop this body business as in deep sleep three factors disappear time space and object where are we when are we what are we when these three factors disappear you are one with the divine here it will come in the fourth uh, question who goes to sleep waker cannot go dreamer cannot go deep sleeper also cannot go to sleep otherwise how he will know it is a sleep then who goes to sleep now go and sleep <laughs> find out who goes to sleep <laughs> maharaj vedanta ras yukta hai it is not uh, na sukha karta hu na gilla karta hu <laughs> vedan is rasapurna आदित्यो हवई प्राण एष उदयती हेन चाक्षुषम प्राण अनुगृण सो दन ए द एक्सटर्नल प्राण आईज आर द इंटरनल प्राण देन पृथिव्या देवता सैशा पुरुष से अपानम अवष्टव्य अंतरा यद आकाश स सन वायुर्व्या देन दिस पृथ्वी देवता दैट इज द अपान वायु एंड देर फोर अवर अपान वायु एंड पृथ्वी इज अपान वायु they are in touch with each other and therefore we don't fly away in the air therefore we don't fall down because our balance is maintained our apana vayu individual apana vayu and total apana vayu they are matching with each other in this manner further the teacher says um aisha purusha apana avastabhya yad akashah sa samanah and then the akasha the air is the samana vayu and vyanaha and the air is vyana which is taking all the uh, things within the body and outside the body tejo hava udanaha now the last is tej the uh, element fire that is the udana vayu tasman upashanta teja punarbhavam uh, indriyai manasi sam sampadyamanaihi and the external element fire is udana vayu when the heat disappear from the body so we say oh he is now dead why there is no life in that in this manner the internal pancha pranas and external pancha pranas they are supporting each other therefore our existence is not independent we are in this relative world this is what we have to distinctly and clearly understand now yat chitta stena esha pranam ayati pranastene sa yukta sa atmana yatha sankalpitam lokam nayati now this udana vayu after having told all the pancha pranas inside outside now this udana vayu it helps us pranam ayati pranastene sa yukta now the jiva along with the udana vayu he ejects himself out of the body and yatha sankalpitam lokam nayati and whatever is the last thought to that last thought destination this udana vayu helps the jiva to go out of the body and he enters there 
if you have read the Garud Puran, in the Garud Puran, people get enchanted by the earlier stories. But the real thing is, listen the last chapter. In the last chapter, distinctly it is said, if you study and understand this chapter, earlier you can delete. See? When you come to discover that neither you are born nor you die, will you ever ask the question, uh, there was one Yogi Mahatma, very good friend of mine, I don't know where he is now. We used to meet here in uh, uh, Vidya Vihar. Morning time I used to hire my lectures and after my lecture, his lecture used to be there. So, very elderly, that time he was about 90 or 92. So, he told me, Kamidi, um, I know all my earlier lives. I kept quiet. In the earlier life, I was in Jabalpur, in a Baniya family. Before that, I was in Dehradun. I was in a Brahman family. So he started in, in the seventh life, I was a parrot. Tutapuri Maharaj. I was a parrot. He said, I have that uh, Shakti, Siddhi, I can tell about anybody, even about you also I tell, if you want. I said, I know also. What? I was in that last life donkey, in this life maintaining. Okay. See friends, how much we are, so much buried in this thought. See, na nirodho, na chautpatti, na baddho, na tasadaka, na muktaha, na mumukshurvai, itte shaparamartha. See friends, the purpose of this sin, merit, hell, heaven is for what? Only to bring to our cognition that you were never absent. Last life, this body was not there. In this body, I am the same. Who was there in the last body? When this body will die away, I continue in the other body. So where did I die? The, you know, spin yatha dehe, kaumaram yauvanam jara, tatha dehantara praptihi, dhiras tatrana muyati. The purpose, what we call in technical language, is the tatparja niranay. In English we call it moral of the story. You have to understand the moral of the story. This story I had told once it happened somewhere and one elderly gentleman, very nice, sincerely sitting and listening. And the point I wanted to make through a story was uh, a person who is lost in the finite can never imagine the infinite. So to tell this, I had told a story. I can create stories in no time. I said, there was a fish and he happened to go to a well and in that well there was a frog. So the frog asked, must be Indian frog, he asked, who are you? He said, I am fish. Where are you from? He said, I am from ocean. What is ocean? That frog has never seen ocean. What is ocean? Ocean is water. How much water? Now how can the fish tell how much water is? So the frog, this much water, can you imagine the size of the hand of the frog? He said, no. Then this much, no. He took a leap within the water. This much, no. He got frustrated and diagonally jumped from wall to wall. This much. So he said, no, Baba. Then how much? Come. They went to the ocean. And now the fish asked, tell me how much is the water? Maunam Vyakya Prakritta Para Brahma Dattvam Yuvanam. He kept quiet. Because finite person can never think of infinite. When this story was over, that old man asked, Kamiji, how that uh, fish went to the well 
I said by Kingfisher Airlines. <laughs> Lord, can you talk? See, friends, therefore, the purpose of this topic of Jiva is first stop blaming others. We are all expert in that. If I am a husband, thank God I am not. If I am a husband, the cause of my misery will be my wife. If I am a father, the cause of my misery will be my children. If I am a businessman, the cause of my misery will be the government GST. See? So we are all expert in blaming others for everything that happens to us. They are samsari. A seeker is responsible for everything that happens in his life. But I have not done any bad thing to anybody. No, maybe not this life. In the earlier life, you might have troubled your wife so much. Therefore, she is taking revenge in this life. But I don't remember. Never mind. But now behave properly with her. Next life, again she will be your wife. If you want to protect yourself from her, in the next life, behave properly. Net result, that virus will go out of his head. And he will be self-oriented. See friends, Avrutta Chakshuhu Amrutatva Michan. How important it is. It is for this purpose, the topic of Jiva, the soul, the last life, this life, sin, married, all these are told. I am aware, I am talking to the students who are of the highest caliber. This thing I will not talk before children. See? Who is mother? Who is father? We are all in the biological world. No, 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 no. For them we have to tell that only. Therefore, uh, lokam nayati. Now here that teacher comes to the conclusion. <clears throat> ya evam vidvan prana veda na asya praja hiyate amrutva bhavati tadepa tadesha shlokaha. Evam in this manner, yaha vidvan, that wise person, veda, he comes to know this. What he comes to know? If the mirror is in front of us, there is a reflection. If the mirror is taken away, what happens to the reflection and what happens to our face? Nothing happens to reflection because it was never there. Nothing happens to our face because our face was not dependent on the mirror. See? There are two things told in our scriptures. Brahma Satyam Jagan Mithya or Sarvam Khalvidam Brahma. The impact of both the things is the same. When we take this world as an illusion, like an uh, like an image in the mirror. So, about illusions, what is our reaction? We don't desire the illusions. We don't try to improve the illusions. We cannot destroy the illusions because the illusions appear, they don't exist. See? So, if we take this approach, Brahma Satyam Jagan Mithya, what will be the impact? impact will be, we will be free from desires pertaining to the world. Freedom from desires is God realization. Yena sarve pramuchyante kama yasti rudhishtataha athamardeha amruto bhavati atra brahma samashnuti. Yena sarve kama there is nothing like good desire, bad desire. See friends, even in the second chapter of Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavan Krishna talks about the uh, steady wisdom. Kita pradnesya ka bhasha samadhi stasya keshava. Kita dhe kim prabhasheda kimasita vrajeta kim. 
Arjuna asks these four questions. And Bhagwan tells, what is the meaning and purpose of uh, meditation for a man of steady wisdom? Prajahati yada kaman sarvan parthamanogatan. He who is living at zero desire level, does it mean he is in depression? No. Atpanne vatmana tushtaha. He is at peace with himself. And when you are at peace with yourself, you are at peace with the whole world. See, my friends, therefore, ya eva vidwan, veda, he who thus comes to discover his essential nature, naha asya prajahiyate. Now for him, there is nobody who dies or who is born. See, one of our happy mantra is, Karnataka. But how to do Nataka Swami is very difficult. It's not difficult. What are you doing now? As if listening. So in the same manner, as you are listening to Vedanta, same thing, you listen to the world. When somebody tells, you are beautiful, take it lightly, don't take it seriously. I did this mistake once and I had to suffer for three days. It happened in New Zealand. My friend, his wife, his uh, daughter, 20 years or so, we are going somewhere. And uh, she says, Swami, let us go. This is so beautiful. See how nice it looks. I said, I am not coming. You go. I will watch from here. I am lazy. I do not do. No, Swami, see how beautiful it looks. I said, now I must put her in the right place. I said, do you know? Whatever looks beautiful is never beautiful. What do you mean? I said, for example, you look beautiful. Next three days, she did not talk to me. Because all the parents have their dumb thing. They tell their ch uh, child daughter, Oh, you are so, you are Tilottama and what not, you are so beautiful. And that useless child start developing his, her own image. I am most beautiful. But when she faces the world mirror, then she has to go to the makeup, to cover all the breakup. See, friends. Therefore, when you take this world as an illusion, you live at zero desire level. And that doesn't mean you are depressed. You are atmane vatmana tushtaha. This is the meaning. Ya evam vidvan veda sa na hasya prana hi yate amrito bhavati. And he attains immortality. Means what? He has no fear of death. There are six things which we have to conquer as our spiritual practice. Fear of old age and death. Fear of hunger and thirst. See, when I go to China, many of our friends ask, Swamiji, in China, what do you eat there? I am not going there to eat, man. No, even then, what do you eat? I said, I take their uh, achar, this, you know, cockroach achar, is very tasty. <laughs> Think where far you are going. Eating is the only criteria of life, or there is something much more. Therefore, Utpatim Ayanti Sthanam Vibhutvam Cha Panchada Atma Adhyatmam Cha Viva Prana Pranasya Vidyayam Amrita Ashnutya Vidyayam Amrita Mashtute. So here it is said how this prana, the jiva, Utpatim, how the jiva is born, Ayatim, how he enters the body. Sthanam, where he is seated, Vibhutvam, how he controls everything, and Panchada, Atmanam, Vivakta, and how he functions in the five different ways. Therefore, this world is called as Prapancha. Everything is Pancha, Pancha, Pancha. Panchayati Raja. Pancha Mahabhutas, Pancha Pranas, Pancha Nanindriyas, Pancha Karvendriyas, then Pancha Vishaya, then Pancha Tanmatra, Pancha, 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 Pancha. Go and punch somebody. Pancha prapancha. Therefore, uh, pranasya vid, vidnyaya amrita mashnute. So what we have to ultimately understand from this chapter. <coughs> Be very attentive. Mai eva sakalam jatam, mai sarvam pradishtitam, mai sarvam layam yati, tad brahma dvayam asmiham. 
आत्मानमरणिम कृत्वा प्रणवम चोत्तरारणिम ज्ञान निर्मथना भ्यासाद पाशम दहती पंडिता Stop worrying about the world. This world has always been like this. There is not one single isolated event in this world which is unique. Everything has happened earlier. Our Upanishad says, "Yatha purvam akalpayat." Then nothing is new. When we go to sleep in our house and wake up next day. we don't wake up in uh, london in the same manner this is again and again happening again and nothing new in this world but we feel oh i got married i have children you have done it 100 times yeah this is not first time hey friends therefore vidnyaya amrutamashnute don't get too much carried away by all these things now here chaturtha prashna we enter अथ हईन शौर्यायणी गार्ग्य पप्रच्छ भगवान्तुषे का स्वपंती का अस्जागृति कतर एश देव स्वप्ना पश्यति कस्तुखम भवती कस्ु सर्वे संप्रतिष्ठिता नौ देर इज अनदर स्टूडेंट शौर्यायणी गार्ग्य ही हेज आ दिस् क्वेश्चन हे भगवन ओ टीचर कैंडी टेल which are the faculties which go to sleep and which are them which are awake and who is the one who is experiencing the dream and who is the one who is experiencing the bliss in the deep sleep and where all this thing is happening these are the four five questions now see this question is now bringing us back to ourselves earlier was the world and panch pranas and all that we are outside so come back and therefore here yeah, that yeah, the students question is straight away pertaining to oneself that bhagwan e tasmin purushe kani swapanti who goes to sleep all the sense organs how where do uh, who goes to sleep then um kani asmin jagrati and who is awake and esha devah swapnan pashyati and katar esha dev who is this uh, deva the experiencer who is going through the experience of dream kasya etat sukham bhavati and who is experiencing the bliss in the deep sleep and where all the drama is happening kindly tell me and the teacher in reply to this says tasmai saho vacha yatha gargya manichayo arkasya astam gachchata sarva etasmin tejo mandale eki bhavanti ta punaha punaha udaitaha pracharanti evam havai tat sarvam pare deve manasi eki bhavati tena tarhi esha purusho na shrunoti na pashyati na jigrati na rasayate na sprushate na vivrate na datte na anandate na visrujate nenayate na swapiti iti aachakshate now here a beautiful example is given he gargya yatha like marichaya arkasya antam gachchata when the sun sets where the rays marich means rays where all the rays of the sun go they go back to the sun so marichaya arkasya astam gachchata sarva etasmin tejo mandale eki bhavati all the sun rays they go back into the sun exactly the same way ta punaha punaha udayata pracharanti eva again next day there is a sunrise and again all the rays come out look at imagine the picture subjectively when we go to sleep all our rays which come out my house my property my country my uh, religion my problem all these are the rays and they slowly slowly they come back and we are in sound sleep sound sleep is sleep for ourselves sound for the society around 
एकी भवती एंड अगेन नेक्स्ट डे ही फाइव स्लीप एज ए स्वामी वी लाइक गेट अप एज ए हजबेंड आई लाइक गेट अप ओनली एज ए स्वामी सी इन द सेम मैनर दिस होल वर्ल्ड इज लाइक ए हीविंग ऑफ द ओशन next time you go to see somewhere you will see uh, recently where i was we are in a deep ocean the, the waves goes like this not the one which we see at on the beach in the center of the ocean you see the whole ocean is <sighs> happening and they slowly slowly when the waves are near the beach there they are flat but in the center of the ocean they are only heaving in the same manner like the breathing goes on in the same manner the whole world mai eva sakalam jatam mai sarvam pratishtitam mai sarvam layam yati this is what is mentioned here that etasvin purush um, all these faculties they come out of the purusha and एतस्मिन तेजो मंडले एक ही भवंती आगे दे गो बैक इन भगवत गीता नाइन चैप्टर भगवान ब्रिंग दिस टॉपिक वेर ही सेज दैट दे आर इन मी बट आई एम नॉट इन देम मैं तदमिद सर्व जगद व्यक्त मूर्ति ना मस्तानी सर्वभूतानी न चाहम तेषोवस्थित न च मस्तानी भूतानी पश्चमी योगम ईश्वर भूत भृन्न च भूतस्थ ममात्मा भूत भावना ओशन सेज ऑल वेव्स आर इन मी दे आर मेन्टेन्ड इन मी दे गो बैक टू मी फ्रॉम द वेव स्टैंड पॉइंट फ्रॉम माय स्टैंड पॉइंट नायदर दे आर इन मी नॉर आई एम इन देम वेव्स आर बॉर्न ओशन इज नॉट बॉर्न वेव्स डाय ओशन डजन डाय but from the water's point of view neither there is the ocean the cause nor the wave the effect three stages we are at the wave level wave length competition frustration born wow 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 hiranya garbha level ocean see in the 8th chapter of bhagavad gita when arjuna asked the question kim karma what is the karma there bhagwan krishna says hiranya garbha is the karma like you know in our deep sleep everything is gone so our deep sleep is a mini hiranya garbha and that hiranya garbha is the total hiranya garbha the same thing what is in the pinda that is in the brahmanda they are not separate therefore ta puna udaitah pracharanti eva tasmay tat sarvam pare deve marasi eki bhavati therefore everything goes back to the mind so mind is the one where from everything comes out everything goes in everything comes out everything goes in and therefore in deep sleep tarhi esha purushaha therefore this one this person the jiva na shruti na pashati etc none of his faculties are functional this is how he slowly slowly subjective inquiry begins prana agnaya etasmin pure jagrati so when all the faculties are sl- uh, sleeping like no hearing no smelling no tasting no touching no nothing then who is awake see in uh, bhagavad mahapuran there is a puranjana akhyan there also the same topic comes so uh, prana agnaya etasmin pure jagrati then the prana agni these prana pana vyana udana samana they are still functioning they do not require to be only in the waking state like the sense organs are functional only in the waking state so all the pranas therefore when we sleep our digestion continues our nail grow our hair grow all the um, repair of the body tissue start taking place because of this prana shakti तो प्राणाग्नयुरे जागृति गार्ह्यपत्यो हवा एष अपान व्यानो अन्वाहार्य पचन यदनहार्य प्र प्रणीय से प्रणयन आद प्रणयाद अभवनीय प्राण 
Now these are the technical terms which are used in our Karmakanda. We have uh, not done Karmakanda and I have never done anything of that type. Even when they tell something which I am completely blank, I have never done that. Therefore only this much I can tell you that in the deep sleep, all the Pranagni is still working and then because of this, all the faculties remain functional inside the body, although we are not aware of it. Then, yad kushvasa nishvasa eta ahuti samam nayati sa samanaha manohava yajamanaha. Now, all these functions which are conducted by the pancha pranas, conducted for whom? Manovai yajamana. There the yajamana is mind. You know, in any karma kanda, if you take, there is a husband and a wife. And then they are told, the Panditji will be taking some rice and uh, put in their hand and then put little water and flour and cover and now we'll do the sankalpa, mamopata, samasta, duridakshe, dwara, blah, 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 mukkarishe. And then the karma kanda begins. In the USA, I have seen one place, such a fantastic experience. A village somewhere in US and very few Indian families, maybe about five, six of them. And there was one old Sindhi gentleman from Bombay. He was the only wise man there, Indian wise man. Any puja, anything, he used to go there. Uh, uncle ko bulao, uncle will go there. And any puja, I was so thrilled. Sindhis are genius. Any mantra, any puja, nothing. He will simply chant the same thing, different tunes. And the one who is doing puja, yajman, they are also the same brand. So he gave little rice. Now they know anything, even they had to eat it. Don't eat it. <laughs> Joy, no? The world is full of happiness. So he said, don't eat it. Again, I am giving you. And now put some water and cover it. And then, what was the mantra? Dunga Gardha, Dunga Gardha, Martha, Vigna, Now, from that tune, I understood. Dunga Gardha, Dunga Gardha, Martha, Vigna, Chi, Arya. But Ananda, he is Ananda. So here, who is the Yajaman? Yajaman is the mind. For that mind, everything is being done so that the mind can continue functioning. And Manohavava Yajmanaha, Ishtafala Eva Udanaha. And what is the Ishtafala? What is the result of this thing uh, is Udanaha, Sa Esha Yajamanam, or Ahar Brahma Gavayati. Be attentive. Now, this Yajaman mind, Ahar Ahar, every day, goes back to his own divine nature. When the wave disappears, where does it go? Does it go to the ocean or does it go to the water? Ocean can become the wave. Wave can never become the ocean. Wave goes back to the water. Friends. Therefore, who sleeps? There is nobody who is sleeping. And therefore, here it is said, Ahar Ahar Brahma Gameti Yajamanam. Every deep sleep, we are one with the divine. Whether you want or you don't want, whether you know or you don't know, you are divine. Javaradasti, Hanji. The only difference is, we are not aware of this. And therefore, all the time, Papa, Papa, Kama, I don't know, I don't get good sleep. And if sleep doesn't come, you are already realized. Ya Nisha Sarva Bhutana, Tasyam Jagarthi Sayyami. Very good, don't sleep. See, friends, how simple it is. Come back to your own self. This technique I told you hundred times. 
from the objects you have come to the sense organs one step don't be slave to any sense organ you have come to the mind drop the likes and dislikes through wisdom you have come to the intellect the seat of i this i is now no more under the influence of the likes and dislikes therefore life is not guided by ragadvesha the life is guided by shreya by what is right and what is right be happy and then one day it will click where this i goes where the water the wave goes when the wave goes back is it the same wave which comes out no like for every dream there is a separate dreamer equally 100% true for every waking experience there is a separate waker either write the biography of a dreamer or don't write the autobiography of a waker what is the difference between these two one and the same see but what happens we have given so much value and importance to this world then we start writing our autobiography i was there i was born nobody has a experience of birth somebody tells you are born on 31st april and you believe we friends and the whole life is spent only in this illusion and then we write oh great mahatma nobody is born nobody is we friends therefore this prashna upanishad having studied you have lost your right to die and to be miserable neither can you die nor you can be miserable then what to do with the misery spread <laughs> om purnamadah purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवावशिष्य ओं शाति 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 हरि ओं श्रीगुरभ्यो नम हरि ओम